it's your boy Slim Weez, and I got my beautiful wife Lamitris behind the camera. Hey y'all! So I decided to do this video. I've been trying to do this video for probably about a month now on some Evicta watches. Um, I really had no choice. My back against the wall. All these new watches that I need size, and I have nobody to size them. I went to Trap Vision. Trap Vision, like, yeah, bro. Uh, you know, next time I come to Atlanta, I, I take care of them. We gonna come to Atlanta, Trap. And then I went to Vic, and you no, know, Vic, uh, Vic Kala. He was like, yeah, bro. So you know, you know, you need to really figure this thing, figure this out because you know you can't keep relying on me. And then I went to D and D. You no, know, y'all know how cool D is. Yeah, so. Uh, I know, man. What legend had been here, man? You know, I don't really have time. I ain't coming outside right now. So when, when it dies down, I'll come outside and do it. So now I'm stuck. So on a Trap Vision Live one Sunday, Vic Fowl told me to order this and Vic the this this watch kit called Ohuku or something like that. And this was on Amazon for me about fifteen dollars. It comes comes with all types of stuff in here, like a hundred pieces. Got a little bullet shell. Got a little pins. Got a little hammer and racks and stuff like that, whatever. So this is on Amazon, $15, $20, $22 with shipping and stuff. And then the next day, the same Vic Collar who was like, yeah, bro, you know, you need to figure it out. He said that because for my birthday, he got me this. So you know when someone's, you know when someone's tired doing your watch when he sent you a watch kit. So Victor got me this watch kit from Invicta. It has a hammer, the rag, a cop of the uh, dial opener, pins and stuff like that. So I'm all set to do my own watch. I went ahead on the Amazon and got me this little light, handy dandy light thing. It does one side, does the other side, does both sides, and then it's... <laughs> So I'm all set guys to do up my watch. Uh, I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of, I'm not gonna do all these watches. I already did this one, this came out perfect. But what I'm gonna do is this Hydromax and I'm gonna do this uh, Herc. This Blue Label Herc and this Hydromax. So I'm gonna size these myself. The rest of these I'm gonna do today, but I'm not gonna do them on camera. So don't go anywhere guys, it's me and I. And Victor watch size and the purpose for this video is just to give y'all some confidence some hope that if I can do them, you can do them. You don't need to pay $25, $30 per watch to get the watch size. Just get you a $15 case and you're going to do them yourself, guys. So I'm going to show you how. I watch a few videos on this. I think I'm ready. Don't be like me. Don't drink in size. Don't drink in size. Size responsibly. Go to with me now. Let's go. All right, so let's get the sizing. Wish me luck. First thing I want to do is I'm going to take care of this. Hydro Mag Pepsi bezel. Automatic clap. And again, guys, you should be able to do this with any watch. You see how big this is? See how big this is? So looking at this i can probably take off and again this is just my opinion about four pieces one two three four i may be wrong but i'm gonna say four based off this see this there's all this extra meat right here so one two three four all right so when you take off band you want to try to do it evenly on each side as much as possible because the strap is at going should be dead in the middle see how this is it's dead in the middle so you don't want to take off four links on one side then you have a lopsided watch so you want to try to evenly dis distribute the watch bands from the side so i'm gonna take off two from one side and two from this side what you want to do when you start looking at watches or uh, adjusting bands you want to try to look for the most watches have an arrow which i didn't know that until i started watching videos see how these arrows right here there's an arrow going down. This lets you know the direction the pin should come out of. So you should hammer this way and pull the pin this way. Let me make sure y'all get a closer look at the arrow. Can y'all see the arrow? So that you should be hammering down. The pin should come out this way. When you put it together, you wanna to pull the way the pin came out, you wanna pull it back in the opposite um, the same way. So hammer this way, come out this way, right? Down, out. Again, the arrow's down, so you're gonna hammer down. The pin should come out this way. You can pull it out. I don't have tweezers, so you'll pull it out, 
pull the link off, put the link together, and then you're gonna put the hammer, I mean, nail the pin back in the way it came out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the pin is going down. I'm gonna try to do it from this back end where the arrow's at. So I'm gonna take out two princess. So I'm gonna go with the, I can go with this kit. I'm gonna go with the Invicta kit. All right, and I'm gonna pull, I'm not sure which pin of this you should use, but let's try, let me try this pin right here. Pull this out. Shout out to Victor Collar. Shout out to uh, Tommy Big Time. Shout out to my man, Chad Vision 3D. Shout out to DNQ. Shout out to Jason Garrett. Shout out to Vic. Shout out to Himbo. Shout out to the whole uh, Invicta family that's on YouTube. Shout out to you know my man, Greg Mason. Let's get, go and get this thing started. Shout out to KC. All right, so I got my pen. See these little dots here? This is where the pin is located. The arrow's going down. So I'm gonna remove two pins from this side. So I got my, so this bracket here, as you can see, it got different sizes. So you wanna try to put the pin, and some people don't even use this because it's easier when you try to remove a pin from a bracelet that's already removed, but since this is already together, sometimes this gets a little challenging. So you gotta make sure you're trying to put the pin, whatever it fits. So I'm gonna put the pin, where the thing go? I just had it on. I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, hold on. All right, so now the pin is in. And I'm gonna remove two pins. One, two. So I'm gonna remove this right here. Wait, no. Put this in this hole. All right, so now I hammered the pin and the actual pin just fell out. See, this is the pin. Can y'all see this? This is the pin. And so now it came loose. Pin also came out. These pins come out very easy. Let me remove another pin. out so that's two pins so that's two pins here I think I messed up some <laughs> and I'm gonna put the pin back Connect it together the opposite direction that it came out of. Make sure it's lined up and now it's in. So now as you can see, there's a piece of the pin hanging out. Just grab your hammer. And now it's in. So that's two on one side. Y'all see this? There's two on one side. And I'm removed. Well, actually, let me see, because I removed two. Let me see if this will be enough. Still a little baggy. So I'm gonna remove two more. And I'm gonna remove two more from the other side. the pin here, let's pull it out. Now it's loose. So I got one, two pins. Let me try to loose. Hopefully it's not too big. I probably need to do three, but I'm gonna go, I mean, only three pins instead of two, but let me try two right quick. All right, so again, this is the other two pins. So now I'm gonna put the pin back in the direction 
that it came out of. So this is the watch is, put it back into place. Put the pin back in. All right guys, so there you have it. This is four pieces, let's try it on. Actually, it's too tight for me. Some people say that, no, it should be like this, but I don't like my, I don't have that little watch damage. Technically, this is okay, but I like my watches a little loose. So I'm gonna put one pin back in. So let me do this. And you wanna try to make it even out. I'm gonna add a pin on this side. One pin. And so see how this pin, I just hammered it, the pin in, but it's not as flush as this one. Sometimes you can grab the, your tool and just kind of Dig in it just a tad bit, just to make sure. Let me put it this way. You want to push it all the way through, but you just want to make sure that the pin is in. So I'm gonna put a pin here and just tap it like twice. Just to make sure that it's meshed in. All right, so now I got the pin in. I'm gonna connect it with the other side. See, I just flushed right on in. All right, guys, so now I put in another link. I took out four, I'm adding one in, so there's a total of three links gone. And to my liking, it's a lot better, guys. So this is it. Pepsi Bezel Hydromag. Perfect. All right, guys, so you also wanna make sure you try to keep all your pieces and pins together. In case you ever wanna sell your watch, you always have the original links that came out of it with your pins. So I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna put this in a separate little baggie. Next thing I'm gonna do is this Herc Blue Label Invicta. Super baggy. So in this case, I can probably remove. In this case, I can probably take off like again another four, another four joints. But because it got these little things right here, you definitely want to try to remove this closer to the clap. So I'm gonna remove two from each side. Let's see how that go. Alright guys, so the video came out, well not the video, the watch came out in a success. Oh not this one, I did this one. So as you can see, I did it, the watch, you no, know, some of y'all may like y'all watches a little tighter, I don't like my watch super tight, so but for me, they look perfect. Or oh, they fit perfect. So you you see it, trap. You see it, Tommy Big Time, Bo Vicks, Jason Garrett. 
roll on. What you think, me? I think I did a good job. You did good. This is Wee's Watch Repair. So if y'all need me to size y'all watches, I ain't gonna do y'all like, yeah, bro, go ahead and stuff. Next time, send them my way. I will take good care of them. The next thing I wanna try to do is do the uh, battery casing on some of these. So that's gonna be my next project, but I'm not gonna try to rush and do it. But so far, no, it wasn't as hard as y'all think. You literally just gotta pay attention to the direction of the pen, hammer it in the opposite direction, put it together. Make sure that when you take a link out, you, you, it's, it's even on both sides. Don't take out three links on one side and one link on one side. Kind of make sure it's even. And it's it, guys. It's not that hard. So I can do it. I'm pretty sure y'all can do it. So this time, I'm going to give a special shout out to all the people that's on my Invicta shirt. Um, this is not everybody that's on YouTube. But this is a, you know, a Invicta appreciation to all the people that follow our channel. That's in the part of YouTube community. So I got um, Flossin, um, Victor 757 my man D, Himble. Big Collar, Don Juan, Me Now, of course, Godfather, Tommy Big Time, Trap Vision, DC, Rico, Fats, Juan, Cal, Big Foul, Nightwing, and of course, and Victor Hollow. Shout out to Mike and Courtney, guys. And that's it, now. I hope y'all like this video. No, we hope you love this video. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Y'all hit that notification bell, that bing, so you can stay notified whenever we drop new content. And y'all want to see more of Invicta watches? We're not in the Victor Watch channel, but you no know, Trap Vision got an amazing Victor Watch channel. You can follow him. But you no, know, we may do some Invictus, you know, here and there. We got a Victor Collection video that's doing good. Y'all can check that out. And then, you no, know, we may do some more unboxing later on. But y'all want more of that? Subscribe to the channel, join the family. But in the meantime, between time, y'all follow us on all our social media platforms. And that's it, guys. Uh, be safe. Um, rest in peace to Doug Noonan. Um, rest in peace to Poochie. We love you guys, and we out.